This is Sarah Milligan uh, with the Oklahoma Oral History Research Program. Today's date is May 28, 2016. I'm at the Shilako reunion at the Shilako Indian School campus. Um, and I'm here talking with Dean Hudson, um, and we're doing this for the Veterans History Project for the Shilako Alumni Board. That's about as formal it's going to get. Um, all right, so maybe tell me a little bit about where you're from and who your parents and what, you know, sort of who makes up your family, and then we'll move from there. Yeah, I'm from Smithfield originally, Smithfield, Oklahoma. And mom and dad are Dixon and Sarah Hudson. Had a large family. Yeah. How large? Had, like your siblings? You had a lot of siblings? Thirteen of us. Whoa. Yeah, we did have a, we lost three of them one, about a month ago. So we're down a little bit now. <laughs> yeah. And I came here Schlocko in 58. How old were you when you came here? Uh, I was 15. State uh, graduated 62. So you were here essentially for like mm. those four years of yeah. high school would have been? About three and a half years. Three and a half years. Graduated, joined the service that July 62. Okay. Well, let me ask you, um, what brought you to Shilako? Oh, I had brothers and uh, cousins that went here. Mm -hmm. And they had football here and they didn't have it where I was at. <laughs> so, I played a lot of sports. That's what kind of got me up here. So where were you? Were you in school in Smithfield? In Smithfield. Yeah. Before you. Came I great. I went finished uh, junior high there. Okay. Yeah. Eighth grade. Did not come up here as a freshman. So was it your choice to come up here yeah, then? Yeah, that's my choice. Yeah. They didn't have to send me. <laughs> <laughs> that much for that. I, well, I, I heard about you know Shawcon and my brother went here, so they they played football. My cousins, and that's what kind of got me away. Cause I want, you know, I want to get away from Smithfield. Ain't nothing in Smithfield. Yeah. And I kind of liked it here. What did you like about it here? Well, like I said, they had the, about all the sports you can play, you mm -hmm. could play. A lot of different people met, mostly all Indians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Was that different from where you went to school in Smithfield? Yeah, it was a public school. Yeah. And like I said, there was not too much down there. Yeah. And I always wanted to see what the other side looked like. So <laughs> I come out. I never gone back to state. No? Mm -hmm. You never went back? I went back, you know, I'd go back and forth, but never stayed. Yeah. Been coming and going since I got out of here. I went to service and I got out of service. I went back to Colorado and school for a little bit and then quit that mm -hmm. and just stayed out there. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, my bunch is out there now <laughs> kids and grandkids. Are the rest of your siblings spread out or are they still uh, around here? I got a brother in Florida. And they're most of them in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me about, so you went to Shilako and you, you got done in 62 and you immediately enlisted. Um, were you, well, what made you decide to do that? Uh, well, Vietnam was going on right then. And I had brothers and cousins that were over there. I didn't know what it was like. I, I, I mean, you know, just a war. Yeah. I just do my share. Mm -hmm. you know, I, 
So it sounds like you enlisted because you you thought there was some some place you needed to be. You know, yeah, you needed to be uh, he was. He, well, like I said, I had a scholarship offer. I mean, to go to Arc City Junior College or Wichita State for some to try out, you know, and. I don't know, I, I didn't know anything about it then. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, and I knew I could do that in service too, so. Go to school, you mean? Or yeah. Get, get some education? Play ball. Oh, <laughs> I got it. So, then they pay you in there, so. <laughs> you had training. Right. So, I, I went and searched what I thought was the easiest. Got out of Marines as well. I was going to go into Marines and. And I ain't gonna go to Vietnam either. <laughs> I don't know who I'd have went over there or not. But. Yeah. So when you enlisted, what did you join then? Air Force. You joined Air the Air Force. Force? Yeah. So what made you join the Air Force? Oh, I had to. I get. There's about. My family. We got all that covered. I had a brother and a sister that was in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. I had two brothers in the Navy. My dad was in the Army, and had a brother in the Marines. So I talked to my uncle about that, and he said, be better you going to something where you won't be on the infantry. <laughs> so I took that advice and joined the Air Force. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when you when you joined, what what happened? Where did you go to basic? And yeah. Yeah. Basic and out of San Antonio. Oh, okay. Lackland Air Force. Now that finished basic, I just went five weeks. You know, sent me to school for, I think it was eight weeks. Dan Amarillo was training there for, I don't know, about three months, I think. Yeah. For supply clerk. Mm -hmm. Then after I finished there, they sent me to George Air Force Base in California, and I was there about a year and a half, and then went to Alaska, spent my last hitch up there. Mm -hmm. That's when I come back home for a little bit, and then I went to Colorado. So what I was like Colorado out there. Did you like yeah. Colorado? Yeah. Was that the first time you'd been out there? Is when you no, I, I was out there. I went out there when I was a sophomore, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you do out there when you were a sophomore? I went out there with a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and he he lives out there, so. so Rodeo a little bit. And <laughs> did you? Yeah. What got it's, you interested in rodeo? I mean, that's sort of a. That's, uh, that's not would, football. No, it's kind of like. It's kind of rough sport. But mm -hmm. I just got into it. And, well, I always kind of liked it anyway. Cause in high school, I tried a few things, you know, tried bull riding. You know. But I, when I got out of the service, I went back out there and I started, um, started bulldogging. And I did it for, I don't know, that was in 68, 70, somewhere along there. Mm -hmm. And it's been a while ago. I bulldog for till '98, I think '98, '99, somewhere along there. That's like 30 years. <laughs> a good while. Yeah. And, you know, I just kind of did it on my own. I didn't go, you know, learn. I should have learned. I just, just played. Did you <laughs> compete? Yeah, I compete all over. Yeah. The Indian Association in Oklahoma, uh, in the 82, I think, in Oklahoma, I was a reserve champion, steel wrestler. Uh, I think it was in 82. Like I said, it's been a while, so. I rode in. Here in New Mexico, Arizona. Mm -hmm. 
What got you interested in doing that? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just playing, you know. <laughs> did you do it for a living? Uh, I did it for a while, yeah. I made money for a while. But that's a young man's game. Get a little old. I, I got a little older, I joined the PRCA. What's the PRCA? Professional Rodeo Cowboy Association. Right. Uh, senior. And it's 40 and up, 50 and up. I was on 50 and up. Mm -hmm. I was 50 years old. And you're still doing it? Was it hard to get into? No. Uh, oh, yeah, I do to me. I want to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pay your dues. Mm -hmm. Went to national finals a couple of times. It was more fun than anything. <laughs> they make no living at it. Some of them do because they, you know, they they work at it. Yeah. I I hold a job and they let me go when I wanted to go. So. So what did you do for a job while you were doing that? I was uh, I worked in maintenance uh, for the Southern Utes in Ignacio, Colorado. Mm -hmm. And I had a good boss. He, he said, if you, he told me one time, he said, I told him what I was doing. He said, you know, it wasn't real. I wasn't no real technical job. Mostly just keeping things up and going. You know. He said, the job would still be here to get back. So sometimes be gone about a week or not, not that often. You know. mm -hmm. But if I had a long way to go somewhere I wanted to go to, I'd go. Yeah. That's a pretty good gig. Yeah, it was. Uh, that's why I stayed out there, I guess. <laughs> they let me go and let me play, you know. So. Yeah. Well, so, I did it for a long time. So before you before you did that, so that was two years after you got, that you were in the Air Force for four years, right? Mm -hmm. 62 to 66. Um, so... I just want to make sure I understand. A lot of it, you were doing training most of the time, or you were in going from base to base, mm -hmm. right? Um, what was your, what was your job? What was your role while you were in the military? I was a. Well, it, it changed. I went in there as a organizational supply specialist, but they changed it to inventory. So that's what I got out as inventory. Yeah. And working in warehouse, and accounting. Yes. Counting screws and everything else. Yeah. Is that what you wanted to do? Well, it, uh, you know, they give you a test before you go in there. And uh, I took to where I had my highest score. And that's where they put me. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be a cook, so. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, uh, general field, you can, they put you about anywhere. Mm -hmm. But I was... Uh, Administrative field, so they took me in that supply clerk. Yeah. Now I worked there. You like filling work orders and stuff when I was in California. Mm hmm. And when I was in uh, Alaska, we had to keep up all the. Like, keep up all the officers' barracks and where they, I guess a lot of them come in there and stay a couple of days and go on or stop over or whatever. And that's what we did up there. Pretty cool up there. Where were you in Alaska? Anchorage. Well, you were in the, the big city. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm on North Air Force Base is right there. Okay. I wasn't sure, yeah, where it was situated. Yeah, but. right out the other town there. Out of town there. Yeah, so you basically went from Chilaco to Texas to California to Georgia, is that right? Yeah, uh, went straight to... And Alaska. Alaska. Alaska, yeah. Yeah, Georgia Air Force Base was in Victorville, California. So oh, was, uh, that's what, that's what yeah. it was. Um, so what did you think when they sent you, started sending you all these places? Because you were late, late teens, right? Mm -hmm. Late teens, early 20s during that time period. 19, I think, or 19. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, uh, it's something new to me, so I, <laughs> I just expected 
but it was uh, like a like a job, you know. You just go and go to work. Yeah. And Air Force, that's the way it was. There, you didn't go to work every day. Yeah. Was it hard to adjust to the military lifestyle after leaving Shalako? No, because I've you know, been away from home for all most of my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, like we're like coming up here, it's like <laughs> the same thing, stay in the dorm and uh, barracks. And go to work. Yeah. Did you feel like you were maybe more prepared than some of your other people that went at the same time as you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot, of, a lot of them that couldn't have to, you know the. I guess the instructors after you all the time making you do this, do that, you know. They do that quite a bit in there. Yeah. But mostly in training. But when you go to work out there, it's just like another job, you know. Yeah. You just do your job in there. You just do it. Were there other, um, were there other American Indians with you while you were out in, in, uh, in base or these other places? There were some. But I don't remember, uh, you know, I've seen several of them that I went to school with. When I was in Alaska, there was a guy I played football with here. He he come in and I was leaving. I was getting out in six months and he was, he just now got to. Mm -hmm. So, good to see him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Other people from Oklahoma? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was, uh, he was our quarterback when I played. I think when I was junior here. Yeah. But he didn't go into that after, after I did. Yeah. So how was, um, you said you were in Alaska for a while too. Was that a big change for you or what was that oh, like? Oh, it's just cool. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the weather is dr yeah. drastically different, yeah. That's the most thing I noticed that was a lot different. You know. Yeah. But, uh, like I say, they, they have, you know, on the base, they have a lot of sports there. Mm hmm. Well, they were good. I was in California. I ran track here. Mm -hmm. and, and I got in there and run track in the service, and they sent me to, to Texas a couple of times for track meet. Oh, yeah. Uh, Air Force Worldwide. And, uh, I got into volleyball. I went to. We played in Las Vegas. Well, I, I didn't know how to play very good then. But I got to Alaska. Well, I was, I had the guy show us. Got me out on the court again. And I made their team. So we we won quite a bit up there. All service tournament. We won base. It was going to send us to. Boston for worldwide, mm -hmm. and uh, they didn't want us to go, so we didn't get to go. <laughs> Why didn't they want you? Who didn't want you to go? The base commander. Oh. So. So you stayed on base. So we had to stay home. <laughs> but they sent a lot of you know like softball, basketball teams to. I didn't play basketball first. Yeah. Except on uh, intramurals and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't even get to run track because there was no track up there. <laughs> I didn't stay in very good shape anyway. While you were up there? Yeah. Why is that? I didn't like to run too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no place to run, you know. Well, there's all, you can go anywhere, but I, I didn't. I'm getting a little older then. Yeah. Well, like in your mid 20s. Yeah. <laughs> Not like now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I wonder this too, because you, you mentioned part of the reason why you enlisted, because you knew Vietnam was going on and probably probably guessed you were going to have to do something. Yeah. I was going to have to go in the Army, because I was, I think they had me 1A or, yeah, I think it was 1A. For the draft, you mean? Mm, for the draft, yeah. yeah. And I wanted to make the choice instead of them, you know, so. Yeah. And that's why I talked to my uncle. He, he said, anywhere that you want to get in the infantry, because he was in the infantry in World War II. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask if you, he or your dad were in World War II. Yeah, my dad was too. He was. So. And they said, don't go in the front. Yeah. <laughs> so were you surprised when you didn't get deployed over there, the four years you were in? No, I didn't. You didn't. It didn't make no difference to me. If I had to go, I'd go. Mm -hmm. So. But I didn't have to go. Yeah. No. Because I, <laughs> I had a brother, two brothers, like I said, two brothers just over there. Yeah. Um, did you, I'm trying to think when this time, when this was, you know, all the, oh, the Vietnam War being covered so, so closely by the media. You yeah, know, being able to see it all the time. Yeah, all the time. You know, it was all in the news. Every ten o'clock news or something on it. You know. Yeah, I don't know. Did you? Um, were you all aware of that while you were on base? Is that mm -hmm. something you paid attention to? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I had a cousin. Uh, he went to school here too, and he was over there. Oh, I mean, he, he guy was a war guy. He he decorated all over. I mean, he went over about three times, I think. Oh, man. Yeah. And he came back every time. For <laughs> wow. Yeah. I was there there was some, there, you know, there was someone lucky that cat. Mm -hmm. Like I said, he was kind of crazy. <laughs> 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 well, so, um, when you finally made it to Colorado and you decided to stay there, um, were there... Were there other groups or anything? Were there veteran groups or military groups that you yes, still kept in? Yeah, on the base, I mean on the tribal, well, it's a reservation there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they got, they got some of that. I've never been in. I went to the first meeting, and I can see right there, too, more, too political, so. <laughs> yeah, tell me how it was political. It was more for them. Mm -hmm. So, and I was an outsider, so. I mean, it was mostly for the yeah for the tribe the for their, for their own people there. So. I got it. Yeah. So I didn't you didn't want to get in it. Yeah. So I stayed out. I hadn't been into any veteran association or anything. Just they just know I was in service. That's all. Right. Did my thing. Got out. Yeah. Well, so here I mean you're you're back at Chilaco now. Yeah. Um, is this your first reunion back, or do you come no, back? No, I come really back after? about every year. Yeah. What brings you back? I just, you know, just somewhere I grew up. <laughs> Did a lot of growing up here. Yeah. So. Well, maybe can we talk a little bit about, um, like, what was what was a day to day life while you were at Shalako? Like, what were what is it that you all you all did? What was your routine? Uh, mostly it was uh, on weekend. You know how to you had a detail you had to do, and then you had one every day. But uh, I was one of those lazy guys. So I took a uh, band, mm -hmm. and I had to go practice in the band first thing in the morning. Then I had to work. <laughs> Is that the reason why you took band? <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> then in the afternoon, I, I took uh, played sports, like I said. Mm -hmm. didn't, didn't have to work at it. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Did you all socialize much with other uh, students or yeah. with the girls? Or? Girls. Everybody had their group, you know. Mm -hmm. Who was in groups? Uh, there was, uh, no, it was just, you know, everybody ran into friends and mm -hmm. liked things like they like. And Was it like sports, hung out with sports or dorms hung out with dorms or was it? Split down tribal affiliations or anything like that? Uh, some of it, and it, it was just the grades mostly, whatever grade you was in, you know. Yeah. And I worked out on a farm because I, had, I took care of agriculture. Oh. And I like because they had the horses out there. <laughs> yeah, they had the fancy horses then, yeah. right? Yeah. They had the Morgan horses, they had good Morgan horses. Right. Is that what you thought you were going to do, was work? work with animals, like large animals? Uh, I, like I said, I liked them, so. Mm -hmm. They let us ride them, too, so. <laughs> How 
Had you been doing much of that before you came to Shalako? Did you have experience with horses? Yeah, I, and we had horses, but yeah, you said one of the horses he used to ride all the time. And like I said, down there, boy, well, it wasn't wasn't much. Yeah. It's just it's real, you know, it's way in the woods. Well, Shalako is not exactly in prime urban space. Yeah, but there's a lot of people here. <laughs> Close. That's true. Yeah. So. That's true. Well, so you said that you didn't. Once you got here, you never, you never went back down t home to stay. Mm. What did you do during the summers? Well, I'd, I'd go back here and, and had to go to work, you know, do some, to do what I could. Yeah. And then if you ain't got no vehicle down there, well, you're stuck. Cause it's deep woods. <laughs> yeah. But it's a lot of fishing. <laughs> was that something you enjoyed then? Yeah, I was kind of like that. Yeah. Did you fish much here when you were in Shalako out of the... Oh, no. I just... Only one or two times I went fishing. Yeah. I could seen a guy out there while I go catching fish. That's what made me think about it. I yeah. saw someone out there. <laughs> I think they were excited the gates were open and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was... I stopped talking to him. He said he... He was out here. I guess his dad worked out here or something. Oh, got yeah. it. Yeah. And he said he was chalked off to him. All right. <laughs> Did you know a lot of people from from your area of the state when you came up here for school or other Choctaws? Uh, some of some of them I knew, and there weren't that many. No. Yeah. What about your siblings? Did you see them very often? Yeah, I had a brother here. Yeah. He was here the same time I was. Were you all in the same dorm or just yeah? yeah? And I had a sister to come after I left. Mm -hmm. She graduated, gee, I don't know when that was. A lot of water under the bridge. A lot you? of water under the bridge, yeah. Well, I wonder, um, if you had 13 kids in your family, what did the other kids do? Did they decide to stay down there? Yeah, they stayed down there. Some finished, most of them finished, except well, they all finished now, but uh, yeah, they all went to public school. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to get away from home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, did you have any favorite classes or any favorite teachers while you were up here? Oh yeah. Well, what were they? Can't <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> think his name is Sanders. He was my favorite teacher. Why'd you like him? Oh, he was my junior high football coach. He coached the football. And he was like me, he was green at it. <laughs> but he it was good class, you know, we didn't he was just easy going guy. Yeah. Didn't yell at you so you sleep in class. Oh, <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like, um, I don't know the things I hear about students that went to Shalako, it seems like um, they had some, not discipline, but some serious regiment. Like there yeah, was some, there was a lot of them that way. Yeah. Some of them were forced up. And, yeah. Well, but once they got here, it seems like you had everything scheduled out. Yeah. You either... You know, you had, like well, you said, you, you know, work they, detail. They had the records and everything, you know, the, for that. Some of them were sent here through the courts and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And there was a lot of volunteers. Yeah. Went on. Like I said, I was going to get away from home all day. Because I knew there was something out there besides what I knew there. Yeah. <laughs> it would always be there. Yeah. So. I think that's pretty common too, isn't it? Yeah. For a lot of people to come up. Um. Well, so tell me a little bit more about um, your rodeo. So I'm curious how you got into doing that. Well, I had a lot of friends that did it. Yeah, oh. out there. And I got with one, traveled with him all over reservations. Didn't He had a job too, so he didn't go far. Mm -hmm. You have to go weekends for set things up where you could be there on a weekend. Yeah. Back home. Huh? I see. 
and there's a lot of local local shows they have and got in turn it. But I started riding bulls first. So how did someone convince you to get on a bull? I always kinda of liked it, you know. Really? <laughs> yeah, when it's small we strut calves and stuff like that. <laughs> well there's a difference between a calf and a bull. <laughs> yeah, when you get older we can't ride calves. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and size and yeah. <laughs> ferocity. <laughs> <laughs> but it, you, you had a chance to make a little money. And mm -hmm. I never made very much money in bulldog, I remember that. <laughs> made a lot more bulldog than I did that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> how long did you do bull riding then? Because I know how long you did bulldogging. Well, when I was in service, I didn't do anything. But when I got out, oh, I started up again. But it was, I didn't do it very long. No. I wasn't, wasn't the rider I thought I was. <laughs> what made you decide that? Uh, nobody rode out there. They was ropers and mm -hmm. bulldogs and their horses. No, no practice, so I just started doing that. I, I just learned bulldog on the own. Yeah. Well, you said earlier that you, you in retrospect, it sounds like you think you should have gotten someone to teach you. Yeah, I uh, should learn how to do it right, you know. I watch them on TV now, but well, they, them guys are good. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they know how to do it. And my brother went to a school. Went to school for that, for mm -hmm. bulldogging? Bulldogging, yeah. Down out in Arizona. Yeah. But he never did go... You never did go down the road like I did. But having good horses is the main thing. I got some good horses. Are you still doing it now? No. I thought I, you retired from competing, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I give it up and got rid of everything. I quit about 20 years ago. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. That's smart. <laughs> I had a horn running my leg and tore my shoulder up. Boy, it's fun, but riding, it's rough. Yeah. You get, get hurt quite a bit. So was that your only big injury? Was having a, I mean, not that that is not enough. A horn <laughs> to your leg is plenty, but I'm curious. Uh, no, I've had, you know, it's kind of, I had one stuck in my my gut, but it it didn't didn't puncture me. I got a week. <laughs> I had one that went in my leg. I had to I forget how many stitches they stuck in there. And that nurse said they quit counting when it got to twenty three or something like that. <laughs> and I tore the shoulder up and you know, had pull ligaments and stuff like that. Yeah. About everywhere. <laughs> but you kept doing it? Yeah, I did it. You just heal up. Like I said, I had a job that wasn't real demanding, so. Yeah. I learned a lot from it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, yeah, and you watch that. You gotta have some, you gotta be good. <laughs> gotta want to. Gotta want to. <laughs> that's definitely... You definitely gotta want to. I don't know. Well, so what do you what do you enjoy about coming back to the Stolapo reunions then? I just see no friends, you know. And do a lot of your classmates come back every year then? Yeah, there's some. Um, once you still here. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them gone now. Yeah. A lot of them can't afford to come, I guess, because they don't come, you know. Mm-hmm. I couldn't afford it either, but I come. <laughs> You drive down? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people. I mean, there's a lot mm -hmm. of people that still show up, and I know, I know it changes, but um, I don't know. So do you consider this more more your home than, than other places then, like from your youth? Probably. Yeah. Do you still make it? When you come down for the Schlocker reunion, do you just go around and see the rest of your family that are still in Oklahoma? Or 
Smithville? Yeah, yeah, I don't know if they were all still down there. Or yeah, they some were spread of them, around. Yeah, uh, we got a home down there. Oh, you still do. Yeah, yeah. So I go down there quite a bit. Do you? But uh, not this time. I got to go back, and I won't be back in July. We're gonna have a reunion down there in July, so I'll go back down there. A family reunion. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of families get out all over. Thirteen kids will do that. Yeah. <laughs> So how many kids do you have? I or I, I, I assume you had kids because you said you had family in Colorado. Yeah. I had uh, three, three at home. Well, they're they're all still there. I had two boys and two girls. Yeah. They all working. Oh, yeah. except one I guess. grandkid, great grandkid. <laughs> Got me going all the time. I bet that's true. I got three great. Granddaughters. Do you really? Wow. <laughs> so your kids are your grandkids or your... I don't know how old your great-grandkids are. Do they ask you about going to school in an Indian school? Or do they... Are they at the point where they don't... They're not interested in... Uh, they just know about it, that's all. They yeah. don't know what it's like being away from home. Sometimes we want to go home. <laughs> yeah. So, were you homesick whenever you first came up here? No, I didn't get there. Was too many, too many uh, different people, you know. Uh -huh. and a lot of friends. What home were you in when you first got here? Which of the buildings? Two. You were in home two. Yeah. The big one. The home two is right. The the main the original building. Yeah. When it's not there now. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> home two, home one, and home six. Home six, the end mean. one down there. Mm -hmm. so Senior year, that's what I was at. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. There's a. Um, do you have any any photos or anything out here? Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I got my name on the plaque out there. I've seen. <laughs> Which plaque? That. Uh, inspirational basketball player of the year. Ah. At uh, what's that Qantas club gives in uh, Park City? I see. Yeah. Got my cousin's name on there too. Really? Yeah. Let's well, go look at it. There's a lot of trophies over there. Yeah. A lot of basketball stuff too. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite sport while you were here then? Football. It was football. Mm -hmm. So did you um, did you ever regret not going on to take that scholarship? Uh. I don't know. You know, like I said, I was pretty green and I didn't know. I know I had work, but I didn't. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I thought about getting married. Yeah. Out of here. Then uh, that didn't work out, so. And I know I couldn't do that and go to school. Get, get married and go to school? Yeah. But I. I they wanted me to try out at Wichita State then for a track in football over here at the Arc City mm -hmm. Junior College. Yeah, I, I thought about going to Wichita because I knew I could. It'd be a lot easier. And I didn't. I, I like I said, I didn't know uh, I could how I could do that, but I imagine they would have helped me. But I didn't. I said, well, I don't know if they'll pay me in, in service. <laughs> I went in the service. So when you decided to join the service, um, at that point, did you still think you might be getting married and then you'd need that income? Or was that after it didn't yeah, work out? Uh, yeah, well, that was the plan. Mm -hmm. And it didn't work out. So you, but you still went in the Air Force. I, well, I was in there, didn't I? You were already there. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Just did my thing, got out of there. Yeah, you went in for four years. Four years. Four yeah. years, yep. Um, then got done. Just Three years, 11 months, 21 days. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm never surprised when people can remember, uh, you know, that that countdown. Um, um, yeah. Well, so, I don't know, you got any anything that you want to share specifically about 
about why you're here or things that you let me let me put it this way your kids and your grandkids that know that you came here but don't aren't necessarily asking questions about what it was like is there anything you want them to know or think that they'd be interested well, in? I wanted to bring them over yeah uh, sometime get them together uh, show them what was at you know I'm 73 now, so. You think they'll come? Uh, yeah, my daughter's, uh, she's ready to come. <laughs> but they're, they're, they're kind of like me, I guess they're playing ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. I think they're down in Gallup now. They play a lot of softball. Oh, yeah. I see. But my son, my grandson, they're, they're, they have a celebration going on right there now called Bear Dance. Mm -hmm. And they got to do their thing over there, so. Right. And he, uh, he's a, he's a computer guy. Yeah. And trying to raise a kid now, so. Makes you busy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you could get him down here, what would you what would you show him? I'd show him, you know, where football field, track, where everything was, at the barns. Can't get out there anymore, but it's it's out there, I guess. Yeah, you were the barns that were down there by the cemetery. Mm hmm Yeah. And then the football yeah. field kinda of out there too. Yeah. It's kinda of still standing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was that way when I was here. <laughs> I just I wanted to show them where I went to school and stuff like that. Yeah. And they were they were pretty good ball players. Uh, my daughter was. And softball primarily then. Uh, yeah, basketball, basketball. Softball. My son, he was a bowler. He bowled. Really. Yeah, he was a good. One. He kind of got a little older. He's forty, forty-three now. Kind of got a little stiff, so he's not. Quite as good as it used to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I bowled too. I bowled. Wintertime bowl. Put me and they, me and my daughter got into La Plata County, Colorado La Plata County Bowling uh, Association. Uh, what do you call them? The League. Yeah, we were we we bowled on you know all that time, but yeah, oh like the Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame, yeah. All right. So. So did you trade in bulldogging for bowling? Yeah. Pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> Something going on all the time. Yeah, I don't see you sitting still for very long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I I shot pretty good too. Shot. What? Uh, we got to do bowling alley there. I say it's been when it first opened up. My, my son shot 300 twice. I shot 290 twice. But I shot a 776. That's pretty good shooting. That sounds like it to me. <laughs> Trying to shoot 800, but couldn't shoot no 800. Yeah, that's pretty good though. That's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I averaged that one year, I averaged 217. So are you what? competitive then? Is that what? I, I was. Uh, like, not, do, you, do you like to compete in anything yeah. with people? Yeah. Like, with their sports and stuff? Cause... Yeah, I like, I like playing good guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And see if I can beat them. But that's like anything, you know, if you, if you play, you got to you got to put out, you know, to get to compete. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to do. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of fun, though. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. If you make it, if you make it like, uh, get too serious with it, it's more like work. But, you know, sometimes you got to be there, though. Mm hmm But I liked it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds like you like to. You were had a wide range of interests. Yeah, I did everything over the years. Yeah. Been there, done that. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to cover. Um, is there anything else you want to share? Because we're going to send a copy of this to you for you, and you can give it to your kids if they want it. Is there anything else you want? No, I don't think you need to know. You got <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that you're not going to lie and say there's nothing else. Yeah. But just, you know, yeah. that's all they need to know. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully you can bring them back next year at least. Yeah, well, uh, we'll try to get them together. Good Lord willing, quick don't rise well. I gotta bring them all over here if I can. Mm -hmm. My boys, they've been here. We stopped by one time, we went to bowling tournament. They used to have, in Tulsa, they used to have an Indian bowling tournament. I don't, they may still have it. But we come over there a couple of times. And I told them I'd show them where I was, where I was school at, and I brought them up there, two boys. Well, they were small or young then. Mm -hmm. Do they remember that? Yeah, they remember that. They don't know uh, now that they know more because they older. So mm -hmm. they all working and trying to work. Oh yeah. Got kids to raise too now. <laughs> I'm glad of that. But yeah, that's about it. Sounds good to me. You've been a lot of places. But kind of. I kind of liked it, you know. Yeah. I, I didn't, if I'd have focused on just one thing, I think I might have been better at it. But I know when I was Air Force to run, they sent me to Air Force Worldwide track two years to Wichita Falls and run against a guy from, uh, see, he was a lieutenant. Last I heard, he got shot down in Vietnam. Hmm. He was a pilot. But he was in 1960, I think it was 1960, he was a silver medalist in the Olympics. Somewhere back there. Yeah, I run third behind him. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> I thought it was, but, you know, times were... That was a new event to me, too. But I just got in because we didn't have anybody in there. <laughs> I guess it's impressive. It depends on how far ahead he was yeah. between the second well, and the third, right? Yeah, there was a there was a guy, and he he paced me, and that guy he was ahead, you know, twenty yards or something. Like that. And when we got got to the end, this guy beat me. <laughs> it was third for second place, and I got trophies and. Medals from there. Have you kept them all these years? No, I uh, I had them at home. They were in a house down over there, and they all the stuff burned up. I had to go. So I cut some stuff over there. Mm -hmm. Something I got later. I, I don't know how many belt buckles I want. I want a bunch of belt buckles and, and rodeo. And I, I gave them all away. Why? Just wear one at a time. <laughs> I got the one I like. Which one is the one you like? Uh, I won uh, the first, in the senior pros, I got the, what was it? They went to, they broke up the uh, association to regions. Mm -hmm. And the first region was in, First rodeo in the region was in Cholo, Arizona. You know, I won that one. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice buckle. So I kept that one. Kept, I gave the rest of them away. My brothers got some. Friends got some. Dad, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I got I got that buckle in the truck. Ooh. Do you really? Yeah. Let's just see if we can get a picture of you with it. That would be cool. <laughs> I don't know if you're willing, but we'll see. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go get it to you. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd like that.